What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I want to announce the accomplishment of reaching five years sober from alcohol. I quit on September 6th, 2019, while I was living in Warsaw, Poland. I had gotten an ultrasound, okay, just a routine check. I was getting some pain in my abdomen and they said that you're starting to develop fat on your liver and they said if you keep drinking like this you're gonna have serious health complications in about five years and I'm gonna be 41 now in October of this year in October of 2024 this was you know when I was 35 about to turn 36 right that they said you're gonna have serious problems I had already known you know, that my drinking sometimes would be excessive. And I was typically drinking almost every day, okay, for like 15 years. And I had tried unsuccessfully at various points before that to stop drinking, but I would usually make it like 90 days or six months or something like that. And I would go and like celebrate, oh, I have it under control now, you know, everything's all good. I'm gonna go drink again. And then that would set off the whole, you know, set of madness again until, you know, it got to be too much again. And then I would come back you know, to the table and say, oh, I need to stop this. But it was that time in Poland where I really made the conscious decision that I want to get rid of this out of my life. I went and I spoke to the top people in Poland that deal with, you know, beating alcohol addiction. And what they told me was that they saw the highest success rate from people doing group therapy, okay, with other people so they can share their experiences. And it feels like you're not alone because you're all trying to beat this addiction together. And they said doing group therapy in your like native language, okay, which for me is English. I'm from New York. I'm American. They said it wouldn't be very useful for me to do the group sessions in Poland because it would be in Polish and my Polish, you know, language skills were only basic and I wouldn't be able to express myself fully and people wouldn't be able to share their experiences with me in English. So I decided to move back to New York okay, in 2019 and I entered uh, what's referred to as an outpatient rehab program. Okay, outpatient meaning I wasn't living at the facility. I was just attending group therapy sessions. I think they were about an hour and a half per day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. And I did that in October November, December, and January, the end of the year of 2019, beginning of the year of 2020. And after about like four to five months in that program, I decided to take a trip to Brazil for a vacation. Okay, with some friends. I went I went with some American friends and a Canadian friend. And I originally planned to come to Brazil in February 2020 as just a three-week vacation. I booked it from like February 7th to March 1st of 2020. And I ended up really liking Brazil. I extended my trip and then the pandemic happened. Okay, so I ended up staying in Brazil and now this February I'll have already been in Brazil for five years. But I can tell you guys, for those of you that are struggling with any kind of addiction, whether it be alcohol or drugs or porn or video games, it's worth beating the addiction. Okay, I look much better these days. Let's pop up a picture of comparing 2016, which is eight years ago, to 2024. You can see a remarkable change in my physique and the aesthetics even on my face. I've had a hair transplant since then. I've done Botox since then. I've done eye bag fillers. But you can see the before and after, right? I look and feel better than I, than I did eight years ago. Right? It sucks waking up with hangovers. It's, it sucks feeling low energy and nauseous and, and sick and stuff like that, dealing with the after effects of excessive drinking. I wish I would have quit a lot sooner because my financial situation, my physical fitness, my mental well-being, my happiness, everything has gone up exponentially since I stopped drinking, right? The addiction was like controlling my life before. And it feels like you get your life back and you can actually grow in, in a bunch of different ways in parallel. And people that had quit drinking before me, they had told me for inspiration, they said everything pretty much goes up exponentially, right? And, and you'll see for yourself if you can stay sober. And I know in the beginning, like for those of you that are like thinking about quitting an addiction, and it, but, but you're not totally sold on it, you think you can, you know, do it responsibly, or you, or you think you're in control on some level, or you think that, you know, you can manage it, you just have to hit <laughs> more like bottoms you have to hit like more extreme sets of negative circumstances until you convince yourself like enough is enough right nobody's going to tell you when when you're when you're drinking or maybe you're using drugs or you know you're addicted to porn or video games other people can see that you have a problem and they may tell you that and i know because I, I was in this situation before with drinking you think you know better right you think that you still are in control you think that 
you have it all figured out and so on and so forth and nobody can tell you any different okay but i can tell you guys that not only is it worth it but you also have to come face to face with it and you have to want to stop doing that thing personally it doesn't matter if all your friends your family everyone's pleading for you to stop you're still in lots of cases gonna think you know stubbornly going to think that this thing isn't as bad as it really is and that you that you're in control on some level and so on and so forth so i'm going to go into some more uh personal sharing about this topic but for those of you that are struggling, right? If you're struggling to get Tinder matches, to get dates, to get hookups, to like figure out what to text, to figure out what to message on Tinder, figure out how to run your dates, close your dates, keep the girls you want, walk up to girls in public. I have a 20 year optimized system. Okay, it's leading the results in the industry by far. We have over 1,250 testimonials. You can book a free 30 minute strategy call and someone from my team will go over all the options about how we can fix all your dating problems very quickly and get you to all your goals in the dating game very quickly. Okay, you can book that link in the description or the pinned comment or go to platinumdatingsystem.com. For me, I had to like fall on my face enough times where I realized, okay, enough is enough. And once I started realizing that my health was, you know, somewhat maybe compromised, I've always taken longevity and health very seriously. I knew that this was like my Achilles heel, okay, the drinking stuff. I knew that that was something that I needed to get rid of, but I wasn't really willing to get rid of it, get rid of it, okay? Alcohol was such a regular, habitual part of my life, all right? I was drinking every time I went out to the clubs and to the bars. I was drinking on every date that I would have, so I would have wine dates straight to the house, or I'd meet girls out at bars to have drinking dates, and it just wasn't something I, I wanted to give up. I thought that I could limit my drinks, or I thought I could just stick to beer, or, or just stick to beer and wine, and, and not drink hard liquor or you know only drink at certain times of the day or, or only drink on weekend but all these little like tricks at the end of the day you have to come to terms with the fact that you have a problem with this thing and what really helped me on the flight home the reason i'm making this video is, is to help you know i'm speaking very candidly here and going through my own personal experience and hardship to hopefully provide hope and motivation for those of you that are struggling with addiction of, of any sort, right? whether it be alcohol, drugs, video games, porn, there's other things you can be addicted to. And I'm here to tell you that it's worth getting your life back. It's worth getting a handle on that thing and cutting it out completely if, if it's really causing a lot of problems. So on the flight back to New York from Poland, I sat there on the, on the airplane with my laptop and I filled out on a spreadsheet all the negative things, and I tried to be comprehensive, all the negative things that alcohol brought into my life. And I think there ended up being over 200 of them, which may be shocking, but these things aren't as, you know, once you put it on paper, you're like, wow. Because as someone who's addicted to something, you're trying to like forget about and, and cognitively block out all the negatives and all the disasters or catastrophes it caused or all the crazy situations that were you know maybe unsafe or, or what have you and you just like you know brush all that aside and you're like oh yeah i'll be fine or like i'm in control here the thing i'm addicted to isn't in control when you really put it all on, out on paper and I, I see like over 200 negatives it really became like a no-brainer like this is something that needs to go like this is too much bad shit that it brings into my life i don't need all this shit i also like like bolded, okay, I made bold text, any of them that were a deal breaker. And a bunch of them were, were deal breakers, whether it's a deal breaker for your health, deal breaker for, you know, losing friendships or, or losing relationships because of this thing, losing jobs, right? I would come in late to work because I'd be drinking the night before. I'd be out at clubs and this and that when I still had a corporate job. I got fired from multiple you know, Fortune 100 company jobs. I got fired from IBM, from Hewlett Packard, from Sony PlayStation. So you're looking at this list and I encourage you guys to do the same. Make a list comprehensively of all the negative stuff that that substance or, or problem brings into your life. Mark out the deal breakers and any one deal breaker on its own should be enough motivation to quit. But when you consider all of them collectively, it starts to tip the scale. You have to almost look at it like a breakup with a, with a toxic ex. It's like, yeah, you guys had fun at one point, but it's just not good for you. It's not good to have that girl in your life. It's not good to have alcohol in your life or whatever it is. And you can see it by all the, the stuff that you put down on paper. And then you have to remind yourself when you're feeling weak, Lo, look, here's all the fucking bullshit it brings in. And I can pretend it's going to be fine, but it's not going to be fine. It's going to bring all this fucking mess into my life again. And there's no way I want to, I want to go fuck up you know, all the progress I've made with my business, with my physique, my happiness and, and mental health and, and friendships and, and even gotten closer with my family. Like literally everything got a ton better because I'm not, 
you know, just some slob drunk anymore. And when I first started my channel, I was, it was in late 2017 and I was living in Ukraine at the time in Kiev. I had to drink to get on camera. I'd be like too nervous to go and, and film videos without drinking. I'd want to loosen up and get into a social mood. And, and I, I started taking that too far and come like 2018 and 2019 when I was living in Poland in Warsaw, I would be sometimes drinking multiple bottles of wine or, or a full bottle of liquor during a live and I would become like very drunk or almost like incoherent at points. There was one point where I almost lost my channel where, where I almost got a blowjob during a live, right? Because there was just a chick over and I drank a whole bunch of bottles of wine and I was like slurring my words and incoherent and, and a bunch of people were emailing me and saying like, hey dude, I'm worried about you. You know, this looked like a, like a train wreck happening you know like a car crash happening and you couldn't look away but it was like holy fuck when you're like deep in that addiction place you're like oh yeah whatever that's just how my life is because i like to drink right or, or that's how it was before because i liked to drink and you want to just like downplay or rationalize or use cognitive dissonance to dismiss or ignore any of the like real objective negative things right like your friends and family aren't just like giving you a hard time about your addiction to to be dicks they're like look dude we can see it you can't because when you're like in the addiction you have blinders on right? i know i know i was in that shit firsthand and it's hard right it's probably like one of the hardest things i've ever had to do but i'm here to tell you guys you know as an inspirational message that it's totally worth it you can look better you can feel better you can accomplish your goals in the gym you can accomplish your goals in business you can accomplish your goals with friends and family and and all these things that that are important to you all right it's not like just stopping drinking or quitting your addiction is going to solve all your problems and, and make life perfect but it's definitely like a great step in the right direction because you no longer are a slave to this thing you no longer have this thing dictating your your every move and, and making you feel bad and, and then making you feel bad about that and, and so on and so forth if you are struggling i'm going to put out like an open invitation here to help anybody that's struggling there's no catch i'm not going to charge you i'm not going to try to sell you my programs or anything like that like i genuinely want to help different people I'll, I'll explain in more depth what worked for me personally how i got over alcohol how i made it five years sober and i don't i don't see it as like a temptation Right, I still have alcohol in my side place and when a girl comes over I say oh do you want beer or water most girls pick water sometimes they drink a beer or two right but they're not like ripping tons of shots like I used to do like I don't have a problem being around alcohol I can be out in social environments where everyone's drinking and I'll just have a soda water or I'll drink zero percent beer it's not really that big of a deal a lot of people are like well how will i socialize how will i go on dates you can do coffee dates it's not a big deal you can have girls straight over the house and have no alcohol it's not a big deal right i've been doing it for five years and when i quit i must have been let's see close to like 1100 lay count or something like that like 1100 and now at the the time of this recording i've been on a good run the past week since i got back from europe i'm at 1854 okay so that's like 750 girls with no alcohol involved on my part. And it, you just have a clear head, right? Like you don't feel sluggish. You, you have mental clarity and, and focus. You know, you, you have energy to go to the gym. You have energy to, to get out of bed and, and start your day and stuff like that. What I'm gonna offer out here is that if anyone is struggling with addiction of any kind, okay, you can email me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com or you can tell your story in the comments below if you want others to weigh in on, on the situation. And I'll do my best to get back to every single person and give them what worked for me. I don't have this all figured out. I'm not you know, the ultimate master at, at beating addictions, but I do have my own way that worked. And, and what I did was I followed the advice of smart people that had been before me, right? The people in Poland that were the top people with dealing with alcohol addiction, they said, we almost always see a relapse unless the person does group therapy. And I can tell you when I was in those group therapy sessions, it was a lot of relief. Like, look, these people have problems with alcohol. These people have problems with drugs. We're all struggling together. We're all in this together. So you have almost like a brotherhood with the people in your group, right? And you all support each other. And we actually were educated about like, you know, the, the biological and neurological dependence on the substance and how it takes like 90 days for a lot of that to clear out of your head. And that's when you have a lot of like cravings and stuff like this. So, you know, the, I can't recommend enough these outpatient programs. You don't have to go live at the facility, but meeting in these group therapy sessions regularly and talking about, you know, your, your dark times and hearing everybody else's dark times, it gives you motivation to not want to go back to the thing. Right? And you're also educating yourself about how addiction works and so on and so forth. So I know this is not an easy topic to discuss, but I wanted to be transparent 
okay with my audience i've already made videos in the past about like one year sober two years sober etc cetera, etc cetera. but this is a pretty significant milestone five whole year sober and i can tell you i, I look and feel my best right i mean i'm in the best physical financial, emotional shape of my life. The sky is the limit at this point. Like everything is going up exponentially in parallel and you don't have to let that thing drag you down. You don't have to let that thing dictate, you know, how you're going to run your life and so on and so forth. I just want to leave you guys with that message. And as always, you know, I'm here for you to solve your dating problems very quickly. That's what I offer as a permanent and final solution. You don't have to bounce from coach to coach or, or wonder, you know, can I trust this guy's advice or that guy's advice? I have the most proof in the industry. I have more proof than all the rest of my competitors combined. So you know that you are in good hands when you sign up in my program that you're going to have a very high chance of fixing the problem and start packing your schedule full of dates. And you don't need necessarily even need to go on lots of dates, but we give you the tools to reliably set new high quality dates very quickly, easy, easily, and effectively. And then you can go on the dates and see who you have connection with and who you have the best chemistry with. And then you can make the best one your girlfriend, or you can build up a rotation of regulars. I will leave you guys with that. Go book a call with the link in the description if you need help with the dating stuff. If you want to talk about the addiction stuff free of charge, email me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com or leave your comments below. We'll put a video on the end screen about one year when I hit one year sober so you can hear my insights from, from that period and, and see how it compares to my insights at five years sober. But you know, don't give up on yourself. I was really, really, really limiting my potential in, in lots of different ways for a very long time because I was caught up in drinking. And it's a stupid thing. You don't have to let these things derail your goals and, and, and your purpose in life and, and hold you down and stuff like that. Because you, you ultimately are like a slave to them in, in, in some way. You have to drink to be in social situations. You need to have drinks in the mornings because you're getting withdrawals or you're getting shaky, et cetera. Once you, you know, when you're drinking daily and you're drinking in big quantities, when you wake up the next day, you're getting withdrawals okay, on a daily basis. And it's not a good feeling. And when you drink more alcohol, you feel better. And it gets to the point in the addiction where you have to have alcohol in your system at all times in order to feel normal. All right. And that's no way to live. I used to have to decline going places that didn't have alcohol. I couldn't be away from alcohol for too long because I had to have it in my system. And it, it got bad, right? Like in the, in the final years, I was drinking like one or two bottles of whiskey a day, like the handle size, solo. Some of you might be at that point. Some of you are on the way to that point. It's fucking stupid. You, you shouldn't let this thing have such a hold on you and cause this many negative things. So I'll leave you with this thought. Write out on a spreadsheet comprehensively and, and be honest. Okay, be true to yourself. This isn't like, oh, I'm going to leave these different things off to cheat here. It's only going to cheat yourself. Be honest and comprehensive and list out all the things in the spreadsheet, all the negatives that something you might be addicted to is causing. And then weigh the pros and cons. Do you want to die young from, the, from this addiction? Do you want to let it hold you down and, and prevent you from accomplishing your goals in fitness and in business and, and with your personal relationships? If not, there are services that will help you. There's group therapy right? There's Alcoholics Anonymous, people that are having a drinking problem. And there's other services out there where, where you don't have to be alone and you can learn more about how the addiction works and how it has such a, a hold on you. And you can talk to other people that are going through the same shit. We'll end there. Thank you guys so much. Watch the video on the end screen to see my insights at the one year mark. Make sure you like the video to help the algorithm. Make sure you subscribe to never miss a video and get on one of those free 30 minute strategy calls if you want to get much, 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 much better with girls very quickly. Okay, that's my promise to you is I can permanently solve your dating issues very quickly and very effectively. And you don't have to take my word for it. We have a proof page with 1,250 testimonials on it. You can go to johnanthonylifestyle.com slash proof or go to the proof link in the description and just read through the stories, right? These are all real clients with real results and it's the best results in the industry by far. There's not even a close second. You see time and time and time again, guys that were virgins losing their virginity, guys that were on a dry spell, breaking their dry spell, guys that wanted hotter girls, getting hotter girls very quickly, guys that wanted more consistency and more girls, having that happen very quickly. And everyone says, wow, it feels like I have the cheat codes. It feels like, you know, this is very easy now. I don't have enough time to see all the girls. And you'll hear that over and over and over and over and over and over again, because that's the power of leveraging the best system in the game, the best optimized system. So get on one of those calls if you need help. Otherwise, watch the video in the end screen. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you guys on a video soon. Here's to 10 years sober and beyond. Okay, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on a video soon.
Take care. I said fuck the industry and did it my way. My way. I learned how to roll a weed, I didn't roll a skate. Nah. Go in the back, y'all look at the lake and I meditate. Yeah. All I need is one scale, a couple bells. Came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Uh, shit, cause I'm a player. Quarterback, no NFL. Hey.